It's the evening before the festival finale. The stage is being prepared for the afternoon concert. On the morning of the finale, the stage is complete and final preparations are being made. On the marketplace, staff from a local florist, Highfields and helpers are finishing off the flower gallery. The rain was yet to come. It's 10 a.m. and the owners of the Cherish vehicles are gathering in Nuttall Park. Just arriving is Alan Wollstonecroft with our host for the day, Martin Henfield. This Morris Minor convertible is the one used in his recent TV series, Out and About. The red Land Rover fire engine belongs to Ian Smith, whose wife Janet organised the event. As the procession leaves the park, we'll take a closer look at some of the other vehicles taking part. The ambulances of Rosendale Search and Rescue are followed by this Bristol 401. It's hard to believe that this car will soon be 50 years old. This is a 1974 Rolls-Royce Corniche, followed by a slightly older MGB Roadster, one of two taking part in the event. In addition to the English cars of various vintage, there are some American vehicles and even motorbikes taking part. Our next British built car is this Austin A60 Cambridge, built in 1965 and 90% original. Here comes the second MGB Roadster. No, this is not a Porsche 911, it's a replica based on a Volkswagen. This 1971 Morris van still provides good service for the local florist that owns it. The Singer Vogue is a Mark II, built in 1963. Following this Morris Minor van, we have an AC 3000 ME. Built in 1985, this was one of only 106 made. Behind the Jensen and the matchless motorbike is a Jowett Bradford van. This was built in 1952 and recently restored by Tameside College. As the vehicles arrive in the town centre, Alan Wollstonecroft reverses the Morris Minor onto the marketplace. Here, Martin Henfield is received by Dorothy Moss. The rest of the cherished vehicles gradually make their way up the flower gallery and onto the Grant Arms car park. The festive spirit is not dampened by the rain that ensues. As further vehicles arrive, Martin Henfield prepares himself for a busy day. A Bon Minicar, deluxe version of course, arrives to join the rest of the display.